How's it going guys, it's Tactics HD here, bringing you episode 3 of my NHL 13 Fantasy GM Mode series. As you guys can see right here is the starting lineup for the NHL team going into this season. Pretty good team, uh, we're really, uh, really good depth as you guys can see, as well our AHL team's looking pretty good. A lot of good prospects that hopefully can uh, gain some potential. As you guys can see, we actually have 280 overall defensemen as our top pair in the AHL, uh, Morgan Riley and Mark Anthony Zanetti. So, pretty good uh, AHL and NHL team. The NHL team has uh, 4.5 stars, offense, defense, and goaltending. Right here, guys, decided to show you the awards from last season. We won the Stanley Cup, uh, the Clarence S. Campbell. Uh, Huber Doe actually won the Calder for the Rookie of the Year. Okun actually won the Con Smythe. And I think we may have won one, one more. Or, nope, that was it. So, not too bad, though, for awards. Let me let me know if uh, you want to see more awards in the coming episodes. As you guys can see, right there, I actually traded Keith Ollie for a second-round pick. Uh, simply, guys, I had no more cap room. Uh, he was, like, the seventh defenseman. But I already had Zanetti and uh, Riley for both 80s. Uh, that could, you know, replace him. So, uh, you know, let him go. He was restricted free agent. So, guys, as you can see right here on the All-Star team, we have David Runblad who made it, as well as Thomas Wakun, and I think Stamkos might have been in there too. And uh, right here, guys, uh, for whatever reason, Rangers put Ronaldo on waivers. Figured I'd pick him up. Pretty good fourth-line center, 77 overall. Not bad waiver pickup. Right here, guys, going to the playoffs. Hopefully you've seen. As actually first place in the East, 121 points, which is insane. Uh, 58 wins. This is probably actually one of the best seasons I've ever had in GM mode, like even uh, like when I play it and don't record, uh, 58 wins is pretty impressive. I think the most I ever had probably was like 60, but 58 is a good amount of wins. And uh, for my NHL team playoffs, uh, I actually played the Rangers in the first round, and the AHL team played the uh, Rochester Americans. So uh, the NHL team uh, actually beat the Rangers, and I believe the AHL team uh, beat the Americans. They actually played Milwaukee Admirals in the next round. And uh, after playing the Rochester Americans, I think they actually unfortunately lost to the Admirals. As well, the Leafs actually lost to the Rangers. That was my bad. I forgot what happened there. And uh, as you guys can see, the GM offered me a new contract in Toronto decided to stay. Uh, considering the fact I'm rebuilding this team and from the, from within, I really want to see what I can do with them. Uh, right here are the uh, retired guys. Rack Dvorak, Milan Hayduke, Michael Samuelson, uh, Marco Sturm, uh, Travis Moen, Dan Boyle. Uh, Andre Markov and T.S. Olin, Mark Zidlicki, so just, you know, not no no one, uh, no big all-stars this time, but uh, in a couple of years coming, there'll be some uh, pretty big all-stars retiring that probably won't retire in real life at that time, but in the game they do. Uh, right here, guys, is actually the uh, re-sign phase. You might have missed it there, but I actually uh, signed my first, uh, my first overall, my first pick in the draft, which is the first overall pick in the second round, which was uh, Zykov, he's a Russian center. He's actually 69 overall, right out of the draft, 3 star potential, so he'll hopefully be good for us. Right here, guys, I was just giving qualifying offers to all the good prospects that I thought would be good in the future. And, like, the prospects, basically, for me to resign them, they probably have to have at least 3-star potential. I need less than 3 stars, and I won't even bother looking at them. And then, if they do have 3-star potential and they're on the younger side, I'll keep them, but if they're older, I'll use them go. And right here, guys, I actually resigned Shat Talk. Uh, I gave, uh, I wanted to look at Barchi, but as you guys can see, Barchi wanted 8 million. And I also had to re-sign uh, other players, so I didn't know if I was going to be able to re-sign them. Randlin was able to re-sign, Ronaldo was able to re-sign. Pretty sure I had to also re-sign Runblad, who's 87 or 89 overall now. So he wanted a nice big contract, but I mean, he made the All-Star game. I think he was on my top pair of defensemen, so uh, you know he'll probably deserve it. And uh, right here, guys, I'm just looking at all the prospects. Uh, some people that made like really big jumps. Uh, I don't know, uh, Neil Yakupov's 80, 85 overall now, I believe, so he's going to be a really good player for us. Uh, and on defense, uh, Ryan Murray, Murray, Dougie Hamilton, all in the 80s now, as you guys can see, run bad, like I was saying, 87 overall, uh, looking really good. And after uh, resigning everybody, guys, I actually made an offer to Marcus Foligno, and uh, his team had the option to, you know, match my, my, my offer. They didn't have to give up any picks, and for whatever reason, they chose not to. I also signed a fourth-line center there. And right here, like I said, I didn't have enough salary to resign Barchi, and uh, he got an offer for $10.5 million from Colorado. I decided to take it. I figured it'd make me better in the future so i got two first a second and a third uh, right there guys uh, right here's my team going in the future as you guys can see they're looking pretty good the hl team we got granlin on the first line of this uh ahl also we have campbell who's coming up he's gonna be our starting goalie pretty soon still four and a half stars throughout so we're looking pretty good nhl team's pretty much the same next year with uh size uh losing barchi but a lot of people have stepped stepped up so we should be able to fill the role besides that guys hope you enjoyed this episode make sure to stay tuned for my nhl 13 videos and have a nice day guys Goodbye.